Hi there and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about iMovie, specifically some of the new features that they just updated that make editing on the iPad so easy. Seriously, anybody can do this. And I edit on Final Cut most of the time, but as we know, Final Cut does not have an iPad app yet. So when I want to edit on my iPad, I use iMovie and these new updates make the workflow of editing so simple and quick. So if you're someone looking for some quick tips on how to edit videos, maybe you are just getting started making a YouTube channel or making TikToks or Reels, this video is perfect for you. I'm gonna go over these new features and go over the basics. And coming from someone who does use Final Cut, I was very impressed by these new updates and I wish I had this when I was just getting started. So if you wanna learn more, just keep on watching. All right, so to get started, you're gonna to wanna to open up iMovie and you will see under start a new project that there are three different options here. You have the magic movie feature, the storyboard feature, and the regular movie feature. First, I'm going to jump in to the magic movie section and I'm going to show you how to use this tool to make really, really easy videos. So first, whenever you immediately start your project, you're going to be asked to upload your videos. So I just took some cute B-roll of my matcha, my new Spotify playlist and some flowers and I uploaded all of that and once you hit import, iMovie will start doing all of the work for you, hence the term magic movie. It will start chopping up all of these clips and overlaying it on a copyright free music sound and even putting some text over top of it. This feature kind of reminds me if you guys make videos on TikTok, you are familiar that you can upload a bunch of different videos to TikTok and you can hit sync to sound and it will automatically sync those video clips to the sound of the music. This workflow feels pretty similar to that and that it will automatically make the magic movie for you. And then of course you can go back in, you can edit the clips, you can make them shorter or longer. You can actually swap out the clip and replace it if you don't like where it is and move it around. And there's just a lot of different things you can do with this. But what I really love about this magic movie feature is that it gets you started because a lot of times when you're editing, it can be hard to figure out where to even begin. So this gives you a starting point. You can upload all of your clips and iMovie will do all of the work for you. And then you have a great jumping off point to go ahead and go in and be creative and make the video your own. One of the first things you can edit is the style of the video. So this is all of the text and some of the different transitions that you can choose from. They have a few different options here and I'm actually pretty impressed with the options. I'm very picky about fonts and style whenever it comes to video because I feel like some of it can get corny pretty fast, but I'm actually very impressed with a lot of the different font and text options they had and I felt like these are some of the fonts that I use actually in my own videos, so I was really excited to see that. Once you pick a font, of course you can edit it, pick a color, you can go in and pick different sounds. They have a whole library of copyright free music that you can pick from, which if you are a creator, you know how important it is to have copyright free music. And so I love that they already have a library built in that you can just work with right off the bat. You can also go in and choose different filters. I usually opt for no filters on my videos, but if that is something that you like, you have that option. So once I have my clips in and my text, all I'm doing here is I'm going into each of the individual clips and I'm turning off the sound because I find that sometimes the white noise or maybe I'm playing music in the background, I don't really want that in my video. So unfortunately you do have to go into each clip individually and turn off the sound. I couldn't figure out if there was a bulk option to select every single clip. Um, but yeah, that's just one of the things that I like to do to make my video feel seamless. You can also hold and drag different clips on the side here to rearrange them and move them around to the exact placement that you want. And honestly, that's pretty much it for the magic movie feature. That's how easy it is. There's not even a lot of steps. There's not that much more for me to say on this. It's really just that easy to make videos now. And like I said, I really wish that I would have had this whenever I was just getting started. But even as somebody who I use Final Cut Pro and I'm making YouTube videos constantly now, I think that this is a great way to just quicken up the workflow that I already have and just save me a lot of time. And here is how the final intro clip turned out. Thank you. 
So when you're exporting the video, obviously you can just export a regular video to your photos app or files app, but you can also export a project file, which will basically make it so that you can open up this exact project file and edit it on your computer on iMovie. And this is what you would do if you needed to adjust the size to make it adaptable for TikTok or Reels or things like that. And this is great for if you just wanna you know, edit on your computer, you need to go on the go. And so it's nice to have both of those options. Like for example here, this iPad unboxing video I did it's currently in landscape, but obviously I want to post this on TikTok in real, so it needs to be vertical. So I would just export this as a project file and then go ahead and crop it on my laptop after the fact. So either way, very easy, but I love having both of those different saving options. <laughs> The next workflow I'm going to take you guys through is the storyboard workflow, which is another new update from iMovie. When you storyboard a video, you're basically just brainstorming the major clips that you're going to have to get and what the overall timeline of your video is going to be. And this makes the overall editing process and filming just way easier. So it comes with all of these different storyboard templates. You can see there's a day in the life template, tutorials, cooking videos, thank you videos, there's so many different options for every different type of creator. So you can see here on the side of the storyboard, it has mapped out all of the different shots that you will need to get. So for example, it says you need a wide angle shot, a medium shot, and a close up shot. This is going to make your life so much easier whenever you're filming because you'll know exactly what clips to get and you'll know ahead of time a little bit about how you're going to edit this video. And of course you can go in, swap these around, change the names and totally make it your own. But again, starting off with one of these templates just makes it so easy. So that way you have somewhere to start. You know, the blank page or the blank editing software is always the hardest place to get started whenever you are creating anything. So a lot of times just starting out the template just makes it easier and faster overall. So I went in and I chose the wellness templates and of course you can go in, choose your font just like you did with the magic movie feature, choose your color, your music, etc. And then I'm just going to tap the little pencil and I'm going to start adding in clips based on what the storyboard is telling me to add in. So I'm adding in a variety of different shots. I'm getting wide angle shots, close up shots. I chose the wellness one, so I typed in self care tips. I just figured this could be a nice intro for like a self care video. I was just doing an example to show you guys how easy it is. And you can also go into the titles panel and edit the titles even more with different effects. There's this one that has a nice black square around it, which is what I ended up choosing. Basically all I'm doing here is just adding in different video clips, adjusting the duration and adding in some text over top, just like I've shown you. And I'm not following this template exactly. I'm kind of, again, working with it, making it my own. These templates also auto-populate different title pages throughout your video, so you can have different text things pop up throughout your video just to add more visual interest and keep your audience engaged. So I'm just going through and adding in some different self-care tips just for the topic of this video for this example, and I'm just adding them in on the slides and it's already there for me. All I have to do is type in whatever I want the message to be. Something I also really like about this feature is that you can change the theme anytime you want and it will adjust all of the slides to that theme. So I wasn't really feeling the theme that I chose to start off with. So I went through and I picked a different one that I wanted and it edited all of the clips because as you saw before, I was making different title pages with that theme already throughout my video. So instead of going back and having to redo all of them, all I do is just change the theme and and boom, it automatically updates all of the slides, all of the text, colors, everything, so that it's all cohesive and you didn't have to go through and edit them individually at all. So once you have the basics down, which is super easy, it's just importing, dragging and dropping and adjusting, that's literally it. And once you have those basics down, all you have to do is go throughout your video and tweak it until you end up with a final product that you like.
In the storyboard section, there are also these bulk sections that you can see visually the different portions of your video, which this is how I think about my videos. I don't think about them on a timeline. I think about them in different sections and different themes throughout the video. And of course, you can bulk move these around. You can go into the sections and duplicate certain pages. Maybe if you want to duplicate a title page or something like that. And I feel like just the way that this storyboard feature is laid out is how I like to think about my videos. So I really have been enjoying editing on it. All right, I'm gonna try the voiceover feature without a mic and see how it sounds. Let's see if I can do this on the first try. Hey, every oh. Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some different self-care tips on how to set aside time and enjoy the tips in this video. And there go the dogs. That was pretty good though. Let's see. Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some different self-care tips. I felt like it sounded fairly decent, I mean at least for not having any microphone at all and if you're a beginner and you don't want to pay for a microphone or anything like that, then this is a great option. And here is how the final edit turned out. These two new features make iMovie the perfect editing software for beginners. Whether you are a beginner and you're just getting started or you're somebody who's been editing for a while and just has a lot of videos to edit, I think both of these use cases make these two new features in iMovie awesome because it gives you a place to start, it makes the workflow really simple and really quick, and there's minimal learning curve to learning this. I mean, there's a couple of tools and they're all very self-explanatory. I truly feel like anybody can learn this any age and also iMovie is a free app so you can't get much better than getting all of these easy quick features on a free app that makes editing literally a mindless task so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want any more iMovie tips or just video editing tips i'm happy to do that but until then i will see you guys in the next video bye guys